Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to lesson three. Inshallah, in this lesson we will cover al fi'l al madi, which is the past tense verb. So Arabic words are based off of root letters. They get their meaning from these root letters and the structure that the root letters are on. So if you have the structure, for example, fa'ilun, then any root letter on this form of fa'ilun has the uh, has a similar meaning. So for the root letters fa'in and lam, whenever you have fa'in and lam, it has a meaning relating to doing. So for example, fa'ala means he did. Yaf'alu means he does. Okay? And fa'ilun means one who does. When you have the base letters jim, lam, and sin, then it has a meaning related to sitting. So jalasa means he sat. Yajlisu means he is sitting. And jalisun is one who is sitting. Okay, so this one was one who does and one who is sitting. Now, when you have kafta and ba, it has something related to writing. So, kataba means he wrote, yaktubu means he writes, and katib means a writer or one who writes. So, these base letters are very important part of the language. So, the um, the pattern that the past tense verb is built upon, the example that common that is commonly used is fa'ala, and if you remember that it means he did. Okay, so any if you just have the three base letters um, on this pattern, then it's singular male third person he did okay so sajada would be he sat or sorry sajada he prostrated and fahima would be he understood okay so the table that one should memorize to learn the uh, past tense uh, verb is, is this table here. So the way it's structured is the first three are masculine, the next three are feminine, and this is third person, third person. And the next three are masculine, the next three are feminine, and these are second person and the next two are the same for both masculine and feminine and it is first person so he he did those two males did so in Arabic unlike English you have singular and you have dual and plural okay not just singular and uh, plural but singular dual and then plural so you have he did those two men did all those men did three or more she did those two females did all those females did you did uh, for a male you two males did you all males did you did for a female singular you two females did all you females did I did and we did okay so I'll read the Arabic fa'ala fa'ala the only difference between the two is a small stretch at the end of this one so again fa'ala fa'ala fa'alu fa'alat fa'alata fa'alna fa'alta fa'altuma fa'altum fa'alti fa'altuma fa'altunna fa'altu and fa'alna okay so if you've memorized that table then we can uh, practice with this example. I wrote. 
So for writing, if you remember the base letters are calf, ta, and ba. <clears throat> so what, you know, which 1 through 14, which pattern would it be on? It would be on the pattern of fa'altu. فعلت. So you replace the fa with the kaf and the ain with the ta and the lam with the ba. Okay, so it'd be katab tu. Katab tu. And the, the, usually you will hear or you will read that the first root letter is called the fa position and the second root letter is called the ain position and the third root letter is called the lamb position and that's this is what they're referring to okay so what we the table we learned previously was the active table this is the passive table the difference in translation is that the active it translates as he did the passive translates as it was done okay so one is he wrote the book one is the other one, the passive one is the book was written. Okay, so the the pattern here is fu'ila. So same thing. First three are masculine, uh, the next three are femin are feminine, and the first six are for third person. The next three are masculine. So from here, from here, masculine again three, and then feminine again three, and these six are second person, and the last two are the same for masculine and feminine and the first one's I and the second one is we okay so the the table is fu'ila fu'ila fu'ilu fu'ilat fu'ilata fu'ilna fu'ilta fu'iltuma fu'iltum fu'ilti fu'iltuma fu'iltunna fu'iltu and fu'ilna okay now it was singular masculine eaten Okay, so how would you uh, eaten? The root letters are Hamza, Kaf, and Lam, Akala. So how would you say um, it was singular masculine eaten? You it would be on the pattern of Fuila, since it's passive. So it would be ukila. It was eaten. Okay. The next example, zahabtuma. So which, um, which of the fourteen is this one? Is it third person, second person? Is it masculine, feminine? Is it first person? Okay. And zahaba means to go. Okay, so ذهب ما is actually for two. It comes twice in the table. It's and both of them are in the second person. One is in the masculine, and one is in the feminine, and it, it's used for the duels. So two men for the second person, or two females for the second person. For both of them, you would say ذهب ما. Though you two males went, or you two females went. Okay, last example, Doribu. So, Doraba, these base letters, Dadra and Ba, have the meaning of hitting. So, what does Doribu mean? It's on the pattern of Fu'ilu, which is the passive. So, it means all, um, all you, sorry, all they at masculine were hit. All uh, they, third person masculine, were hit. Inshallah that concludes this lesson. Jazakallah khair for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.